Hello. Sorry for the lack of upload recently. Today we're going to look at an interesting problem. To prove that the sequence sine of n, n goes from 1 to infinity, diverges. We're going to use proof by contradiction. Assume for the sake of contradiction that the sequence sine of n does converge. That is, it has a limit. Let's call that limit L. From that, we wish to derive a contradiction. Let's consider the following trig identity. That is, the sine of n plus 1 equals to sine of n times cosine of 1 plus cosine of n times sine of 1. This is called the addition theorem for the sine function. And now we're going to take the limits on both sides. And we see because sine of n is assumed to converge to L, the left-hand side also converges to L. And on the right-hand side, we also have sine of n times cosine of 1. So the first term converges to L times cosine of 1. That means the second term on the right-hand side, cosine of n times sine of 1, must converge as well. And because sine of 1 is non-zero, it implies that the cosine of n also converges, say, to m, another real number, with l equals to l times cosine of 1 plus m times sine of 1. So now we have an equation with two unknowns, l and m. We wish to derive another equation so we can determine them. For that, let's recall another trig identity. That is, the cosine of n plus 1 equals to cosine of n times cosine of 1 minus sine of n times sine of 1. By taking limits on both sides, we get m equals to m times cosine of 1 minus l times cosine of 1. So now we have two equations. Let's put them together to form a system of equations. Of course, we can simplify them by rearrangement. This gives us 1 minus cosine of 1 times l minus sine of 1 times m equals to 0. And also, minus sine of 1 times l plus 1 minus cosine of 1 times m equals 0. So this is a system of linear equations in l and m. And the right-hand sides are both 0. It is a standard fact in linear algebra that if the determinant of the system is non-zero, then the system only has zero solutions, i.e. L equals to M equals to zero. So now let's evaluate the determinant and see what happens. This is a determinant. By expanding it, we get 1 minus cosine of 1 squared plus sine squared of 1. Expanding the first term, we get 1 minus 2 times cosine of 1 plus cosine squared of 1 plus sine squared of 1. And since cosine squared plus sine squared is always 1, and we get 2 minus 2 cosine of 1. This is of course non-zero, because otherwise it would mean cosine of 1 is 1. So therefore, L equals to M equals to 0. On the other hand, since sine squared of M plus cosine squared of N is equal to 1, by taking the limit N goes to infinity on both sides, we get L squared plus M squared equals to 1. But as we shown earlier, L and M must be both 0, so we have 0 equals to 1, which is of course a contradiction. And therefore, we conclude that sine of n, and of course cosine of n, diverge. And that's the end of our proof. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.